Hey guys, welcome to SSU Retech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the data flow activity. So before going forward, if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have discussed about the data flow and data flow debug option. So this is the continuation of that video. So what is the data flow activity? So to execute the data flow activity to transform or move data via mapping data flows. So basically we have created a data flow. For example, this is a data flow and we want to execute this data flow. So for execution of this data flow, we are required to have one of the activity where we can directly call this data flow. So calling that data flow is the data flow activity. So go to the browser and we'll see in the practical. So in the last video, we have created this data flow and for this data flow here, we are having this source and this sync. So under the source, we can see in the blob storage, we have this container that is the SSU testing. So we here we can see two folders input and output. So in the input folder, we have employee file that you can see employee India. So as per this data flow, the source file, which is the employee India file will be loading from this input folder to this output folder. As of now, there is no file. So for execution of this, we are required to create one of the pipeline. So let me try to add a new pipeline and let me call this pipeline as data flow activity. Now here we can search for the data flow activity. So we should find the data flow. So we can drag and drop here and under this data flow, we can directly jump to the settings and in this setting, we can see the data flow. So we have created this data flow in the last video. So I'm going to use this. So this will be executed from here. Now it is asking like on which IR we want to execute. So Azure IR that is okay. Then compute type. So this is the general type that is okay. Then the core count. So that is by default we can leave and other options we can leave as it is in the parameters. So here we don't have any parameter. So don't worry for now. We'll be going to see the parameters in the later of this video series. So we just want to execute this so we can directly click on debug. So here that is okay. We need to turn on the data flow debug option. So let me click on OK. So it will be executing and files should be loaded from that input folder to this output folder. So data flow debug option is on now. We can click on this debug. So it will be executing and files should be here. Data flow is executed successfully. Here we can go and try to refresh this. So files should be here that we can see the success file and this part. So this part is the actual file. So we can open this and it is loading now. Go to the edit. So here we can see the exact file that we have seen in the input side. So this is all about the data flow activity. So it is using to executing the data flows. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.